Hey guys, welcome back, Carter Bitsy Trippin. This is gonna be a really quick one for you, talking specifically on what we're doing right now with the recording of all these different GPUs now. We have started, we have popped that Pringle can, and we started entering in some stuff. So we kind of jumped ahead of not having that first live stream on Twitch yet, just to time box how long does a full scale test with something like the RTX 3090 take. Uh, and BBT Ray had been doing that last night for at least three and a half to four hours. So that's a little too long for a live stream. However, I think once we get a few of the little quirks out when it comes to like the algorithms all working on the different G GPU types, having that live stream of how we been doing that testing, I think will uh, be a much better uh, live stream. Bottom line, anytime you're doing any kind of testing like this, you have problems that you got to work through and i'm trying not to waste everybody's time with that when we're talking about just what are the results of a card if we're talking about a troubleshooting video that's the kind of content we like to show and we'll show that particular piece but a lot of this is new types of gpus old types of gpus and what do they get across the range of algorithms and what we're going to do real quick is switch over right before we bring you guys to our sponsor for today this episode is sponsored by Compass Mining, the company that makes Bitcoin mining accessible for everyone. The world is paying attention to Bitcoin miners lately. Mining difficulty is down and profitability is up. There's almost never been a better time to be a miner. Getting started with Compass is easy. You just purchase a machine, pick a hosting facility, and let them do the work. So if you're ready to start mining Bitcoin today, head over to compassmining.io. All right, let's bring you guys back to the spreadsheet. You guys can see the link in the description below. We'll have this there. We've started with the ASUS ROG Strix RTX 3090 OC. We've started doing the testing across multiple different settings. And then the follow-on stuff that we'll have with you guys is bringing in those power results. That's the piece that we need to do over here. We were making sure that all the algorithms worked across that versus some settings. And then we're coming back in. I'm going to be putting in those various riser 12 volt rail power, you know, total machine power usages per each of those different settings. But you can see some of the iterative testing that we're doing there. We also have added an item in there called the wallet, which is what wallet are we using for that? And we're going to put the links in there for you guys to where if you're trying to track down that you're gonna mine one of these different coins that are a little new to you, where can you get a wallet that you can point this to that's not based in an exchange? Sometimes you can you know, assign it to an exchange, but some exchanges do not like that you know, constant flow of income coming directly from the coin base, which is when you know one hop after a coin is minted, they want it to a wallet address and then over. So minting straight, this is really pertains only to when you're doing like solo mining and you're finding your own block and it's going straight to the exchange being the first address. So it's good to go right to an address and then to the exchange. But we wanted to give you guys some options as we went through and looked at those settings. So this is just to give you guys kind of a highlight that those settings have started to flow in there and for you to make a bookmark to this spreadsheet because Ray's literally over there right now going through and gonna start adding some more details here and we're gonna start cutting through some of these GPUs to get you guys some settings that we are observing and reporting to you. And again, as I've asked in the community, if you guys have various settings, you can add them to the description below. We'll take a range of those and put those as user suggested in this spreadsheet that we test. So I'm gonna take some of the ones that you guys are suggesting saying, hey, I have that graphics card and we are getting these settings. We'll pick a few of those from the comments and test it live. And then we'll put your name on that of saying that you suggested that setting. The same thing with also other creators in the space. If you have your testing results and what you've done, you can link me over to your videos where you've done that. And we'll make sure that your guys' uh, content is in there too based on these different algorithms. Now, we have a pretty good range of different tokens in here. So I wanna make sure that if there are, is a token out there that you guys are looking at 
and that's not in here that you'd like to see added that's remember proof of work last time i asked for this people were adding like ada and stuff it has to be a proof of work coin guys that's what we're doing here so make sure that you're at the coins that you're asking for to get added to the spreadsheet are something that we can actually mine with a gpu so at the bottom of this description please or at the bottom please put your comments below on this and then we'll get this stuff updated i just wanted to let you guys know quick psa video less than five minutes straight to the point we're starting to do our testing and you guys can go out there and take a look at it so later on this week we're going to cover in the noob series ray still got to build his machine when it comes to the 6600 xt build we're going to do that with you guys he's going to be building that so it's going to be a continuation of the noob series so anybody's missing out on that noob series we're going to be doing that from a, of a full build standpoint and then we also have the hive os cradle to grave how flight sheets work all of that kind of stuff that we're going to do which is a new refresh update in hive os which is essentially taking some of the stuff that we've done in simple mining and then replicating that in Hive as flight sheets. And you guys can compare and contrast those differences. So you should be subscribed, like all that fun stuff that gets us exposure and gets you notified when our content comes out. We do appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next one.